Hello everybody, I'm Michael Rao, and this video is kind of fun. It is called, and it's, if you look at the title, it's something that I can use. Basically, it's Redemption, and it's about the characters in different books and movies that are good guys, but really, why are they redeemed? They, they have no qualities that redeem them, so I'm like, I want to explain my reasoning. Now, I, this sounds a little weird, but go with me here. And first, I need to apologize about the hair. It's been alfalfa this morning. It won't go down, so I apologize for that. Anyway, the characters I picked are characters that are really important, main good guys that are thought of as great people, despite of all of their horrible flaws. And I don't see why. Why are they considered good people when they've done some really fucked up shit? Let me start. I actually have a list over here, in case I forget the names. Okay, the first is Dumbledore. Now, Dumbledore is the most famous, and that's why I'm saying it. Dumbledore is abusive to Harry and to, well, Snape, although Snape deserves it, and to basically every other student, and neglectful. He puts a Sorcerer's Stone in a place with children, knowing Voldemort was there. He let Ginny Weasley go down into the Chamber of Secrets and Harry, just miraculously coming back to save the day for both times, both a Harry Potter, or, or the, both Sorcerer's Stone and uh, Chamber of Secrets. He is always there, just in time to save everybody. Just in time. Order the Phoenix, they do nothing. Goblet of Fire, he actually puts Harry in danger, intentionally to draw out uh, Voldemort. Not caring about Harry, whatsoever. Whatsoever, it's like seriously, seriously. And he forces a child to get himself killed, literally, so that dumb Voldemort could die. Also, all things he does, he put Harry and Voldemort in abusive moments, did nothing to him, even told both of them that he knew that he'd be abused. It was just needed. I'm like, seriously, why, why are we redeeming this guy? He didn't redeem himself. He's an asshole. Okay. Next character. Oh, so he also kills Harry. A lot. Same that you know, the, the, the Dursleys will die. The Dursleys deserve death. Okay. The next character is Edward Cullen. I don't like Edward. He's abusive to Bella and kind to his family and neglectful to Bella. How, and a bully. Now, how do I say this? Okay. First off, okay, he's more emotionally abusive than he is physically abusive. Basically, he is constantly pulling her away from everything, from her friends, from her family, although she does it to her, most herself as well, but it's, it's kind of a combination of both. He's controlling to an extreme, actually saying, you know, do this now, being obedient. He won't let her have sex with him, and now normally that wouldn't be a thing, but the way he does it, he threatens her. I'm sorry, she's kind of annoying by herself, but like, you don't need to threaten her. Go away, stop doing that. Um, and he's extremely stockish. Look at the first book. Look at the entire first book. He stalks her the entire time. First, he watches her sleep. He actually watches her sleep. Second, he actually... Uh, what are we looking for? He follows her when she's in the other town, Port Angeles. He follows her on yes, he saved her from being raped, but he follows her. That's creepy as fuck. Why do we give him that? And he's also kind of a dick. He's kind of a dick. He's always insulting Bella and kind of a jerk. And honestly... There's other things he does. He threatens everybody who likes Bella. I'm sorry. Well, Jacob proved to be kind of a, you know, a pig by himself later on. And I'll include a whole video about that from a friend of mine, not a friend of mine, but an awesome YouTuber who I would like to be my friend, AC Green. She has a whole video on YouTube, uh, on Twitter, the Twilight Camera Talk, that will describe Edward in much better detail than I can, and Jacob, because they're both assholes. Okay, next would be Jiraiya the Sanin from Naruto. Now, for those of you who don't know, Jiraiya is Naruto's godfather, but he's also an extremely powerful ninja. Naruto, his godson, is horribly abused in his village, and Jiraiya knows this and does nothing. He has never come to visit. Naruto doesn't even find out he's got, uh, that Jiraiya is his godson until after Jiraiya dies. I mean, he's Jiraiya's godson until he dies. Until much later, like months after he dies, and even then, it's like, seriously? He taught him nothing knowing that he's being chased after by these extremely powerful beings. Naruto, by all accounts, should have been dead because of the horrible neglect committed by his godfather, who was supposed to train him for two and a half years. It's like, seriously? And Jiraiya experiments with Naruto's seal, which nearly gets Jiraiya killed, and but it also makes Naruto's life worse, because Naruto's the guilt of all that. Jiraiya really is a fuck-up, and he makes the series worse. I don't get why people like him, because he's not a good person. He really isn't. He abandons Naruto. Okay, yes, I get that he has to chase Orochimaru, but he doesn't do anything. He has time to write a bunch of porn novels. If you have time to write a bunch of porn novels, you have time to watch your godson, to raise him, to at least make sure he's being taken care of, which he wasn't. Naruto was not being taken care of. He was being abused. He's being neglected. 
he was having he was starving he was having to eat ramen all day ramen's really bad for you you eat a lot of it it's not healthy it's got so much salt in it it's got not that many fruits and vegetables the, the kid wore a freaking bright orange jumpsuit he was useless and he dry wouldn't be able to help naruto graduate earlier Gra naruto failed three times because of Jiraiya. that's like seriously seriously you're gonna do this Jiraiya? you're not a good person you have no redeeming qualities fuck off i don't like him okay next person was aslan from the chronicles of narnia no no way like me <gasps> boss me no 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 aslan's not a good person okay first off he's extremely neglectful and i don't just mean to the kids i mean to the entire land the entire narnia he is the god of narnia he's the jesus character of narnia he does nothing to help narnia ever until the kids are there and then he helps them and then he runs away and then when the kids leave for hundreds of fucking years Narnia is destroyed. His people are killed. The animals are killed. Tortured. The, the very beginning, you see a dwarf being attacked. That's like, seriously, Aslan, what is wrong with you? And then he forces children. One of the kids is not even 11 yet. And she is thrown into this to fight in a war. I'm like, Aslan, what is wrong with you? You are abusive. You are neglectful. You are a bad person. I don't like you. And the next character I'm going to get a lot of flack for. But he's also a fictional character. And he's worse than all these characters combined. God. Yeah, I said it. He causes how many genocides? He wipes out the entire planet. All the kittens, all the animals, for a few people being bad. Sodom and Gomorrah, he turns a woman... First off, he destroys like two cities for no real reason. And then he destroys a woman for looking back. I'm sorry if you're going, if you hear, I'll heal all this fire and brimstone. And she's going like, what the hell? I didn't expect that. I expected something else. A flood, a something. I didn't expect all this heat. What's going on here? What if she got, was she on fire? What if the piece of the brimstone hit her? She's like, what the fuck? And plus that was her home for how long? There's an emotional connection there. Of course she was going to look back. I'm sorry, you're a dick. Okay, and then there's the fact that he, Causes, okay, the fact that he makes the entire world be inbred, that he curses an entire line of women for one woman's mistake, Eve. Even though it's not really much of a mistake. I mean, like, seriously, why would the fuck would you put the snake there? You're God. You know, if you know everything that was going to happen and has happened, that's omniscience. You know everything, literally, before and after it happens. He would have known that Eve was going to place the snake. So it's really on you, because you would have known, yeah, the snake's a sneaky bastard. Okay? Okay, and then there's the other things. There's, like, seriously, why would you the apple in the first place? Why would you tell them not to touch it? That's, like, you don't tell kids not to touch things. They were basically children, even if they were adults. They had their, they were innocent still. You tell a kid not to do something most of the time, they're going to do it. Simply out of curiosity. Not maliciousness. And then there's the fact that he causes them to inbreed hundreds of times. Hundreds of hundreds of times. Seriously. Inbreeding. It happens. Adam and Eve have kids. All of their kids inbreed together because they're the only two and their kids are the only so they, they only have two boys as far as we're aware that's it that's it where does the kids come from well Cain and Abel I think it's Abel Abel no it's Cain whatever the, the brother that lives actually has to fuck his mother to have kids and this has to happen a continuous cycle and even if they had more kids that's still inbreeding and then the flood destroys most people it's only it's only um, Noah his wife and his kids his son and daughter and they get together, and they have kids. That's a lot of inbreeding. Abraham was with, with his sister, Sarah. A Abraham, the, the person that created Christianity. Yes, him. And he also created Judaism. And he created Muslim, Islamic religion. Sorry, not Muslim. He created the Islamic religion. He was inbred. He inbred with his wife. He had sex with his, his sister. It's like, seriously. God's not a good guy. Now, I know some of you are thinking, well, you're reading way too in this. If you're atheist, why do you even talk about God? Well, I don't care. I read in these things, and these things are media. And media is a big part of how we learn, how we how we grow nowadays. And we are being exposed to all these characters that are doing all these horrible things, and it makes these things acceptable. It does. It makes these things seem acceptable in the eyes of people, of children, and it shouldn't be. Dumbledore is not a good person. Aslan is not a good person. Hell, Dumbledore... Uh, even helped Grinwald, the first Dark Lord, one of the first Dark Lords, to go to power. It's like, seriously, what's wrong with you guys? What's wrong with 
everybody, you know, to have these really horrible people get redeemed. They're not redeemed. They're kind of assholes still. Okay, thank Ooh, sorry. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for being patient. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below about different characters like, you know, that are redeemed that don't deserve it. Tell me what you think about the ones I did say don't deserve being redeemed. Tell me what you think. And hit the subscribe button. I will put the link to Lake Sea Green's vi uh, video in the comment section below with my Twitter account. So please subscribe. Talk to me on Twitter. Do what you like. And have a good day. See you guys later. Bye.